Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about this uh, new scaler I got. It's called the Little Beaver 2.0 Elite. Price-wise, it's pretty cheap. It's like 800 something bucks. So I just want to give you an overall um, summary of this machine. It's a very simple operation. It's got the water adjuster here. Two buttons for the power level uh, you know, adjustment. The on and off power button. It's designed to take 25k and 30k inserts. It's got a separate, uh, not a separate, but its own water source. So if you want to run, you know, Paradex or something, you can always do that. I like it because, um, as you can see, I have on this rolling cart, and in my office I have to roll it around a lot. It's got to be really mobile, so this makes it real nice not have to connect it to a water source in the office. I've only had it for about maybe. I don't know, a couple of weeks now. I've used it like maybe 15 times. Overall, performs pretty well. Not sure how it's going to be long term. I'll probably do a review in a year or two and see how it goes. Um, the only negative so far that I found is the pedal. Not a fan of the pedal. It's very small, but it works. And it's designed for 25k and 30k inserts, but for some reason, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's me doing something wrong, but. The 25k inserts are real tight in this thing, and they don't seem to perform as well as the 30k. The 30k fit right in; they spin a little bit, so it's pretty nice. So if you're gonna get one of these, definitely get 30k inserts. Um, so it's a pretty basic operation. Um, Quality-wise, feels you know mid-range. It's got a handle to carry this thing if you have that need. I'm not sure if you do, you will. Um, I'm not really close up on the camera right now, but if you go to, the, to my blog, if you're watching this video on YouTube, if you look below, you'll see a link. It'll take you to the blog post, and I'll have a bunch of pictures so you can see it uh, close up. If you guys have any questions about the machine, you can comment on the, on the video or the blog post, or you can send me an email. All right, thanks.